Hello and welcome to Cracking the Cryptic. Today we'll just have a look at the Times Quick Cryptic and just kind of go through what we're thinking about when we when we look at these cryptic clues in it. So here it comes. One across, eight letters. National emblem made of imitation stone. Well, there's a couple of ways to get at that, I think. Um, national emblem looks quite like um, it could be a definition to me. Could be a national, so um, a Prussian or something. Um, just trying to think of an alias word. <laughs> it's probably more likely to be a country that actually exists now. Um, but it could be a national emblem. Now there's the thistle and the leek and maybe the dragon or the rose, but there is one that is eight letters and made of imitation stone question mark. The question mark kind of indicates there's a bit of a joke going on or a, an example. And if we can think of short synonyms, this is always the way we have to go, short synonyms. So a short synonym for imitation um, and a short synonym for stone. The imitation is probably easier. Sham is the particular imitation, and that's probably going to give you the national emblem needed here, which is the shamrock. So an imitation stone could be a shamrock. So it's a neat idea for a clue. So then one down, quiet game ultimately inviting non-committal gesture. Well, here it helps to know a bit of crossword standard um, cluing. So quiet, that can be the letter P for piano, or it can be sh, sh. Um, there are other things it can be. In harder crosswords, it could be st, which is an old form of sh. Um, but given that we've got an s at the start of the clue, it's quite likely to be the sh. Now, game. There are some very short games that get used. Go, for instance, the Japanese game. But also some abbreviated games. and. Um, RU for rugby union is one of those that you often see. Ultimately often means look at one of the words either side of this word ultimately and take its last letter. So ultimately inviting here. If you look at inviting and take its ultimate letter, so you consider inviting only in terms of its ultimate letter. Ultimately inviting gives you the G, so a non-committal gesture is Sh plus R U plus G shrug. Um, ten across begins with a G. Union leader stabs young sow. Shame. Well, I mean this this takes us a bit deeper into crossword stuff. There's um, there's a word for a young sow that I think you're really only going to know if you solve crosswords or possibly if you're in a very rural area living on a farm where they happen to use this word. Um, and that's a bit less likely to me. But um, I think the word can be either guilt or guilt. And union leader can be the letter U in the Times crossword. Not in all crosswords. For some crosswords, the more Ziminian ones, it would have to say leader of union, I think. But um, if you stabs or goes into guilt or guilt, you do get the other form of guilt, which can mean shame. So let's have a quick look at two down. A product of thought, that's funny. So funny is really the key here. If we can think of a word that means funny or something that is funny that fits in two down, that'll probably be our answer. But why would... Why would amusing, which you may be able to think of, I mean, the phrase funny amusing is quite helpful there. Why would that be a product of thought? Because if you did some thought, you might have amusing, like the result of having mused would be amusing. So eight across, haven't looked at the clue yet, but just looking at the space in the grid here, um, five, three, five has been marked off and that first word, surely in a phrase, that can only be round. Second, it could be round and round, that would fit, or it could be round the twist, maybe. That's quite a likely word to be clued in a crossword. So now I'm going to turn to the clue to see if either of those predictions are right. How some golf is played all day and all night. Well, that does look like 
round and round, I guess. How some golf is played. Well, certainly round. I, th I guess that's round and round. It's kind of referring to some continuous golf. Um, let's just have a look at four down, see if that confirms that we've got the right phrase there. Businesswoman's hope finally to stick together. Oh no, well I've got I've got round and round wrong. Okay, so I wonder why. Okay, why I'm seeing that is because business is a company or co. Woman's can be her and hope finally, just like ultimately shrug, hope finally means the last letter of hope. And that gives us cohere. So it's not round and round. Ah, so it's round the clock, which is all day and all night. I didn't think of that. Um, and that's a reference to clock golf, which is a form of golf that I've played and I haven't seen for 40 years, where you have one hole in the middle of a lawn or a, a course, and you start from different places around it. So it's more like putting practice. It's quite an odd reference uh, from somebody who I think has not quite realised that clock golf's pretty much died a death these days. Pitch and putt would be the, the modern equivalent, I guess, of, of practice or just putting practice. Now, three down, again a certain. Well, given the words we have here, the letters in the grid are something D, something T. That looks a lot like redetermine, which could easily be again a certain. So alien wears brightly coloured fur. Well, an alien in these crosswords is always, pretty much always, E.T. So what is E.T. wearing in Redetermine? He's wearing red ermine, which is an amusing, if possibly impossible, brightly coloured fur. Now, for the rest of the puzzle, what I'm going to do is just kind of flash through it. If you're interested in how the rest of the puzzle works, stop on the various clues, um, pause the video and have a look at what I've put in and see if you can work out why. But I'm just going to go about as quickly as I can and uh, get the rest of these in. Just to get it finished so you can see the answers. So there we are, that's the puzzle done. And um, you know, I hope those tips at the start will have enabled you to understand at least how the rest of the, the clues and answers were working. Uh, just scroll down in case there's any more you need to see again. Um, and I hope that's of some instructional value. Thanks very much for walking, watching Crack, Cracking the Cryptic and I hope to see you again next time.